Bro, are you mad? Yeah, Roy sounds kind of mad. <laughs> You're very consistent in the finals, I am, Mo. Thank you. I think I was too. Gotta do that in challengers this week, and we're set. From GSRS the action. I low key wanna okay, switch so yeah, to 0.345 and just see how that feels. Yeah, I uh, switched to the GSRSE midway through the tournament, Mike. I'm trying it out a little bit, you could say. The 54k on Haven with Chef's Kiss. I actually, we ran that strat a second time. We ran it once against Dig, and then we ran it again against. Was it CLG? I don't even remember. Moon Raccoons, maybe? And I was like, I got a 4k again. And I'm like, dude, every time you run this strat, I get a 4k. Literally. The thing is, like, that wasn't even. Like, it's not really a set play that we agreed on beforehand. So I, I don't think the stream or the ca I don't think anyone really caught it, but we only ran that play when we had bad money and it was on Haven and we were on attack and we just had about bad money and we just kind of know like they're playing really defaulty CT positioning. Like one C, one garage, one B, one A link, one A. When like we knew that they were running that setup, we would pl like run the play. But it wasn't like an actual play that we actually do. Like we have one that's pretty similar, but we didn't really want to call any strats that were like things that we actually do because we have challengers on Thursday and we didn't really want to like spoil it because our bracket, like we had no idea who we were going to pull in the bracket, right? And it's actually pretty easy to see what teams are doing using Run It Back. So I kind of just like made that one up like in the server, or not in the server, sorry, like in the game. And it ended up working out for us like twice and I got a 4k on both. Like we take those. I think a lot of things worked out for us in this tournament to the point where we could um, we played like a different style than we normally do because we didn't really want to run all the same strats and we kind of lucked out that we were able to play a certain way that wouldn't um, really reveal how we play in reality. And by, like by that I mean like um, in the CLG game versus uh, like on Haven, I lucked out because I got two kills on pistol, I got the bomb plant twice in a row and I got the orb, so by round three I already had my ult, which means, I mean if you guys play Overwatch you guys know like ult economy means. Uh, when I looked at the Sova's ults, I actually was ahead in ult economy and I was able to get more ults that half than the Sova and I would get them faster than the Sova because I was already up in ults. So we were able to string like three or four gun rounds just because I had Killjoy ult really early in the game. So like things worked out really well for us because it's like, okay, if I have Killjoy ult and the other team doesn't have Sova ult or like a raise to counter, then you don't have to really do any shots. You could literally just go A. Let's say their team has an adaptation, but like we knew that they wouldn't really have a good adaptation. Overwatch <laughs> ult economy. Anyway, TLDR, it, it just worked out for us that we ended up like not having to reveal anything too, too heavy. You laugh, but ult econ knowledge is needed for CS players to play the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. what else? Mm -hmm. Oh, I won. Do you think Riot will release a demo system? It would make VOD reviewing so easy. I don't know. I, I think we're going to be waiting a while for that one. I was hoping for you to be interviewed after your win. No, I felt it appropriate for Katie. I feel like Katie was the most appropriate for this situation. She's like finally announced and she's a you know big factor in our success, so. And she's never had like a public interview before, so I thought it was appropriate and it felt right. When are we getting the Mel interview? Um, there's a press conference that we recorded. Like right after the game, they did like the losers press conference and then they did the winners press conference like within 30 minutes of um, us winning. It's on YouTube now, if you guys wanted to watch it. I think someone linked it in my Discord. What's your go-to mouse? Uh, I've only used this mouse for like the past two years. Drop the English accent mid-interview? Oh god, I don't think they'll get it. Getting off-angled by Arena in deathmatch where the agent doesn't even matter. Yeah, sure. How many deathmatches you play in a day? Uh, it depends if I'm streaming that day. I don't really deathmatch um, if I'm not streaming. I might deathmatch once before, um, I call it, before I, uh, a scrim or a tournament, but I don't like use I don't like using deathmatch as like the primary form of aim training. I like to just be in the training range, and I just have my own exercises that I do. 100 DMs when she streams. I just like DMing because I get to talk to y'all. To be honest, I don't get to do that as much. <laughs> Full running guy. Can you control the recoil? Um, I kind of just like look for to go left and then right, and by the time you make it to the right, it's random from there. All right, uh, no, here we no, go. I'm gonna go back to my old sense that I was at a couple weeks ago. Okay, no, no, break the fucking drum. Oh Actually, my god, it's hindsight, it's Harold. Oh, hindsight, Harold's a wide swinging me. This guy is holding an off angle. Okay, go again. Keep doing this until my sense feels good. Yo, what's up, a evil cat? Dude, your casting and analyzing was so great. 
I know I've said it before, but I'm just gonna say it again. You are awesome. Dude, I didn't even mean ADS. I just gripped my mouse too hard and it right clicked. Feels bad, man. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna go from right clicking on accident to just. Okay, alright, sure. Dude, this is my sense, dude. If he, maybe I just gotta change my sense like every day. Maybe that is the shot. The duality. It's my sense too, weird twinsies. People were saying that on my tweet with the um when I tweeted like after we won the first map that I'm on the OG sense and so many people were like, that's my sense too, and I was like, girl, they don't actually they don't know if they laugh that I'm probably gonna change it. <laughs> Again. <laughs> change your sense every 20 seconds. It's honestly fun, it just makes the game fun. I'm not even gonna lie. It just makes the game more fun to play and it's more entertaining for me. 10 strat. Literally a 10 strat. Forgot she was constructed alternatively. Assembled alternatively. Dude, this sense might be... This might be it, chat. I haven't tried a high sense on my new mousepad yet. Okay, they just kind of whiffed on me at the end there. <laughs> I'm even gonna cap a little bit. That's when the vipey changes? She seems very busted at the moment. I... I don't really know how to feel. I feel like they might have overtuned her, but like again, we'll have to see. That was a really nice uh, spray control. Um, master class, as, as a matter of fact. Back to that person. No way, this guy's opping Jen. <laughs> what? No shot. Can I do that? Wow, I can do that. No, the breach actually just kept running and We're killed me. That, that was insane. What is this game? The game is questionable sometimes, to say the least. I need to, why is he sitting there? Valorant is a tactical shooter, it is. You really have to think about the engagements you're gonna take before you take them. That is very true. I don't think you're hacking? Oh. Good for them. I'm flattered. Someone said I was ESPing earlier. And I, that's just like how you say like wall hack, but like it's such a boomer way of saying wall hack that I like didn't even recognize what they were saying. What? It's ESPing? It's da, da, da. Who closed the door? Breach? Not only is Breach running and gunning, they're committing the cardinal sin of closing the door during DM. It changed by for uh yeah, they, there's like peach uh, I said peach notes. There's patch notes that got leaked. If it was reversed. What team impressed you most this week in GC? Definitely Moon Raccoons, by, right, by like a long shot. Every map I don't know, Moon Raccoons reminds me a lot of um, like Magical and when we were first forming, like, or even before Magical was even like a thing. I can tell they're dedicated and they put in the work, they don't need like a salary. Like, what, what does success look like for you uh, regarding game changes? Gotcha, uh, I mean, we're definitely gonna win it, I'm not really too concerned. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, not really. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I really love the confidence behind yeah. that. Yeah, we're <laughs> we need more of that. I'm dead. Um.